a look at an example here. So if we just look at the left-hand side of the table, we see that ABC steps there's four of them. First step, we identify the different activities. Second step, now first step after identifying activities, you estimate the total cost incurred for these different activities. Second step, we find a driver, meaning the main factor that triggers the cost and accumulation for different types of activities. So machine hours we use for DVD burning. Case assembly, how many inserts needed at the end will trigger the case assembly costs. Setup costs, the more batches ordered, the more setup costs incurred. We determine what is the driver and estimate the total quantity of those drivers, those cost allocation rates. And the third step, we calculate cost allocation rates, fourth, multiplied by actual quantity. So does this look familiar to you? Pretty much is the same idea of what we covered in the previous chapter of this portion here, right? It's just that we're doing multiple ones. We have number one here, number two right here, number three right here. For each activity, we go through the same process. Find a driver for it, estimate the cost, estimate the total quantity, figure out the allocation rate, and then we multiply the quantity. Okay, so really this is the same formula we use for manufacturing overhead. It's just we're doing it multiple times for different types of activities. And then finally, we will add it up. That becomes manufacturing overhead cost at the end. Now if we take a look at the right-hand side, so what is that the activity that we're trying to calculate here? The cost form. Case assembly, right? So this will be the right-hand side example I gave here, the third type of cost. In case assembly, the total cost estimated is, let's say, $10,000. So now you know the numerator for the rate is $10,000 here for this particular activity. Not for setup, not for DVD burning, just for this case assembly activity. Now we find a driver for this. What helps and what actually contributes to more cost here? So the number of inserts, there are seven DVDs required for this specialized customer um, DVD that's required. And the more inserts is required for this set of job, the more cost incurred for case assembly. So the regular ones just require two DVD sets of inserts, and this cost will be lower than the specialized one. Okay, so let's assume that the total inserts required for the job is 100,000 inserts. That means per disk you insert into the case, it costs 10 cents each. Okay, so this is the rate for our case assembly, and then you multiply the actual disk that you insert into this job. That will be the cost for this particular activity. So there were 8,000 inserts per January this particular job, and there will be 800 costs incurred for case assembly. So for another type of job, if there is only 1,000 here, then there will only be 100 for that particular case. Okay, so this is applying the same logic as what we covered in the previous chapter of predetermining manufacturing overhead rate. It's just we're doing multiple ones. We're doing one for each activity, finding the total cost, what is the driver for that activity, calculate the rate, multiply by the actual quantity. That's all we're doing here. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So again, the first step, determine what is the activity. Let's say we're focusing on setup costs now. Setting up the machine, preparing the software for burning the DVDs. And the setup cost is the activity, and let's say we find a driver, determined by management level, it's the batches. So meaning, we think of that as job orders. So the more job orders incurred, more job orders requested from customers, the more setup cost there will be for this production line. Now you know the activity, once you know the driver, then you determine the numbers. So if the cost of the setup cost all along the year estimated is $600,000, and the total batch is estimated to um, the orders received from customers 40 batches, the per batch the setup cost will be $15,000. Okay, so that will be the rate for 
cases to wait for us. So the previous one was to wait for a case assembly. Now this is another example of the wait for setup cost. So once we know this, and the more job orders is requested, let's say for Excel maybe, and the more setup cost incurs for that particular um, product line. For specialized, since it's customized service, if there's only one order, then the cost incurred will only be $15,000 for this. Okay, this is just another example of another type of activity and how we capture the cost. Determine the activity, determine the driver, and most likely the problem will give you what is the dollar amount of the cost, what is the estimated batches, estimated machine hours. You need to determine the rate for these job orders and just multiply how many batches actually occurred, how many hours actually is being used for each type of machine. Okay, so it's very similar to what we covered in Chapter 17, just multiple activities. 